Hi everybody and welcome to another All About Arby's video. It's Ray here again and we're going to take a look at a new Forest River No Boundaries 16.8 model. This is a new floor plan for the 16.8 lineup of the No Boundaries. On the outside of the coach, it is a white fiberglass exterior. On the front, you do have a black lower diamond plate section there. But the unit is fiberglass on the sidewalls, the front, and back. And they upgraded this new version, which started, I believe, it was around July time frame, roughly. They upgraded the sidewalls and stuff to a Asdale composite material. The early version had a Luon board, which is pretty much industry standard for the fiberglass units. But they changed them on these new half-year models with Asdale. The Asdale helps prevent delamination from water leakage and things like that where the Luon would get damaged from moisture. Um, so a nice upgrade on the new version of the No Boundaries. Now on the front of the coach you do have a large window. That window does not open uh, but it does give you a lot of natural light on the inside. There's a standard LED hitch light down there. That switch turns on and off from the storage compartment. Uh, this was ordered with the optional power hitch jack, which also has a manual override and a LED light in it. Um, standard safety chains, breakaway cables, um, all that type of stuff. Seven-way Bargman plug with your brakes and stuff like that, that that need to be used. Now, you're seeing two gas bottles here on the front of this one. The customer is actually choosing to upgrade from the standard single bottle to a dual 20-pound tank system. That does require a new rack to be put on, which they've started doing here, and a new regulator because it's now going to have two hoses, an extra dowel rod mount holder, and a new bottle cover system. Uh, so if you do want that, that is available upgrade that we do here at the store. Talk with your salesperson about that feature. Um, single battery does come with the unit that is actually provided by our dealership, not the factory. And we currently are using the interstate battery. There is room to do two batteries there, though, if you wanted to. As you can tell, this unit is in for service. They are getting it ready for the customer. My service guys left for the night, so I thought I'd run out here and do a quick video of this unit. Up top there, you can see it has the Rhino Rack feature. So there's two Rhino Rack crossbars there. Also came with the kayak holder up there. And there's a little wheel step feature that they were offering with these things. Now on this side of the frame, you can see right down here, there is a propane hookup right there. That's great if you've got a portable grill or something along those lines. And you can see on the ground there the E2 hitch system that a customer is choosing to purchase on his camper. It's a good feature to help with weight distributing and sway. Now the unit has a awning on it. This is the Thule awning. This is a manual awning, so you just crank it in and out. It takes just a less than probably 30 seconds to crank it out and a few seconds to put these legs out. And what you do here, you can do it two different ways. You can put the leg from there to the sidewall, or you can see on the other side, I actually put the leg down to the ground, and you can stake it to the ground if you want to. Now, these legs are adjustable, so you can tilt the awning a little bit for water runoff. The unit has these standard black frames that most RVs have on their windows, and it does have the deep tent safety glass. Now, some brands are doing clear glass and some are doing the tented windows. The tented windows make it a little bit darker inside feeling, but it helps with UV rays and things from the sun. The clear glass versions, a lot of time you have to keep your blinds down just to keep the sun from fading out the inside of your camper. So do look at that as you're looking around at some of the different brands. LED side marker lights here and rear tail lights. Uh, you got a big storage compartment underneath of here. This is basically underneath the master bed up there. You could see the handle there for the awning on the wall and then the handle for the stabilizer jacks and a manual override for the power jack right there. There's also a little lock box back there. 
and you can access that from inside under the bed area and you can see here the little rhino rack stuff the step and things that it comes from and the switch for the hitch light now down below you can see your heavy duty scissor jack and you can also see underneath of here you have a full enclosed underbelly that's great for the customer who is more off-roadish that way the rocks and stuff don't fly up and possibly damage your tanks that kind of deflects everything down also does help extend your camping season later into the winter on the 16 series the body of the camper is roughly six and a half feet wide but your tires do stick out past that body and they put a really nice heavy duty fender on there and you can actually step on that fender climb up onto the top to reach things so pretty neat little setup there has the heavy duty off-road tires I'll get to that when we get over to the other side you have your electric I'm sorry electric outlet here for outside along with your furnace exhaust refrigerator access panels for maintenance stove exhaust there and your porch light now that porch light is an LED light but that also if you flip the switch the other way it turns into an amber light rounded corners on the top of the entry door and screen door just to help protect it from damaging the awning if it comes out and hits it you have the nicer step that comes down and touches the ground and that uh, is a lot stronger than the traditional RV step you can see down here on the other part of the fender there is actually another little light right there for your running lights and large folding entry handle on the side of the coach here you'll see where they talk about their Asdale composite upgrade uh, there are a couple awards they've already won for some of the show stuff and solar prepping along with your model number again 16.8 is what this one is On the back of the coach, you have a ladder to climb up and down, get up onto your roof, and get things up off of the Rhino rack system if you wanted to do your kayaks or things like that up there. On the lower portion, you do have black diamond plate down here. You can see your LED taillights there. The spare tire mounted to the 4-inch square tube bumper. That bumper is a great place to store your dump hose. Also, be sure to like, share, and subscribe if you want to keep up with more of my RV videos that I do on all these new models. I try to do an update as often as I can on some of these new features and floor plans and things that are coming in. And again, my name's Ray. If you have any questions or would like to purchase one, please give me a call. 888-417-8299, extension 203. Outside utility shower right here has hot and cold water. Your black tank flush and cable hookup right here. And then you also have a sealed power cord. Now this I did not fully hook up here, but this does actually detach. It's not a push in, pull out kind of cord like they use on some of the cheaper RVs. But this does actually lock in and then you can tighten up the knob right there. Down below, you'll see your dump handle, your gray and black handle right there, and you'll see where it dumps out right there. Now, they did enclose all of that, again, trying to make it a little more winter friendly. You can see a lot of that spray foam that they use to help close some of the gaps and stuff like that, anywhere that that underbelly doesn't quite form very well. So that is what that is. I had some people think it's like bee's nest and stuff like that, so that is actually spray foam. Um, the slide out is an electric slide out. You can see that track system on the side. This is a Schwintech system that they use. So you push a button, it goes straight in and straight out. Down below are a couple low point water drains sticking out the bottom there for winterizing or storage purposes. Your city water and uh, fresh water tank is right there. And then there's also another uh, thing down there to drain the fresh water. Six gallon gas and electric water heater right here. 
some sticker information. This particular camper had a dry weight of 3,200 pounds. You have a gross vehicle weight of 4,670, a single axle of 4,400 pounds. You have hitch weight, that's why the gross weight is above the axle weight. Not all the weight sits on the axles. Oh, and tires again are ST23575 R15 D range tires that they are currently using on the coach. We're going to go on to the inside of the new floor plan here. Again, be sure to like, share, and subscribe if you know anybody looking for one of these things or interested in keeping up with my videos. Walking up toward the coach here, you have your electric box down there, couple drawers, and then you're going to have a little closet area, pantry area type thing there. We're going to go on up into the coach here. We'll turn ourselves around here so you can see the rear of the coach. So you can see back there is your big pantry, also the bathroom door. You can also see the digital thermostat on the wall for your air conditioner and your furnace. It's a little more accurate than the analog versions that some brands are using. There's an electric outlet down there and your propane leak detector right there. Now these drawers are full extending ball bearing drawer guides. They do have the little latches to hold them in place also. And this is a hanging closet. I've had a couple customers already ask about putting shelves in there, and they are planning on doing that aftermarket, but this is currently kind of set up to be more of a hanging closet. Behind this door is our bathroom. This model has the larger bathroom instead of the wet bath. There is a shower curtain that comes around, and that curtain is actually on a track. You can kind of see that track there, so it helps hold it out and form, so it's not uh, kind of in your way and touching you as much when you're trying to take a shower as a standard loose curtain on these curved showers. But there was a skylight up above. You have your sink, electric outlet down there, some storage, uh, actual uh, medicine cabinet there, and also the really nice turbo exhaust fan. I'm going up in here, kind of standing up in the shower now, just so you kind of get a better look here. But there are some controls in here. Your water pump, water heater on propane switch here. Some pre-wire for solar panel information, your monitor panels, all that, a light switch. And then your toilet, and the toilet is a foot flush toilet. Looking back toward the front of the coach from the doorway, you can see your fire extinguisher. You have the uh, light switch there, electric outlet on the side, and a couple USB charger ports there, ports there. And a little white hook thing there on the side is for the JBL uh, speaker system, Bluetooth speaker that comes with the coach. That is just kind of a place to set it, so when you are playing music, um, you can set it there or take it with you. And up here a little more, you can see the slide-out switch, the porch light switch and stuff there, interior light switch. And they also do these little hooks and bottle opener thing there. The bathroom door, by the way, does have a lock on it, so you can lock your door. Uh, I'd be surprised some of these don't actually have that. This unit does have a sofa that will fold out and make into a bed. The table is freestanding, so you can leave that at home if it's in your way and you don't want the table, or take it with you and use it to set it outside under the awning. Up above the sofa is some overhead cabinetry. Has a little shock on the door there. Also, you'll see a nice big window. That window does slide open. So you get 50% of the window open. That's one of the reasons they do a lot of slider windows in campers instead of louver windows. Because um, those do open larger for better cross ventilation. 
The air conditioner is a 13,500 BTU air conditioner. LED lights running down the ceiling there. The front cabinet also has an LED light strip inside of that. You can kind of see it lit up there. Below that cabinet are two individual lights to turn on and off. The bed is sideways. It's 60 inches wide. Uh, well, depth if we're looking at it this way. But it's basically short queen. So it's 60 wide and 74 long. And you can see underneath the here some storage down behind there and an electric outlet right there and just below is the on the right hand side is the furnace and your three-way refrigerator now this refrigerator is a true three-way refrigerator it's gas electric and 12 volt uh, a lot of brands have a fridge similar looking to this but it's only two-way so it does not actually work off of the 12 volt battery system and the freezer part up here can actually be removed to make the fridge just a little bit larger if you wanted to. Now here you have your power button, electric button, gas button, battery button, and temperature control button. And there's a little push button right here to open the uh, refrigerator door. This one was ordered with the optional 28 inch LED TV. And this is a 12 volt TV, so it actually works off of battery power. You don't have to have electricity. A lot of customers with these are going off the grid using those portable solar panels. So that allows them to use their lights, furnace, um, water heater on propane, electric off 12 volt, uh, your refrigerator off 12 volt, I mean, along with your refrigerator. So it's pretty nice if you are an off the grid camper for some of these features. The optional convection microwave, so you can cook or microwave with that. Some storage below the sink area there. The undermount stove has kind of a spring assist on it to hold that lid up. You do have your range hood and light here. Uh, also, I forgot to mention on the TV antenna system, it's got an antenna on it, but there's a booster button right here. And you can see your 12 volt outlet butt switch there too. Another new feature is going to be this sink. They went to a large round sink. So really nice improvement, I think, here over the old version. And that is a pretty thick feeling sink compared to the old version high-rise faucet there you do have some overhead cabinetry here this was just a quick video here to get you familiar with the new nobo 16.8 again my name's ray if you have any questions would like to purchase one of these new campers please feel free to give me a call Toll-free number is 888-417-8299. My extension is 203.